besties welcome or welcome back to my channel welcome to my first reading vlog in a long time <laughs> i haven't been reading you guys probably know this um been in the biggest reading slump ever i think i'm getting out of it i think i'm getting out of it so i'm really excited about that today's tuesday but I wanted to start vlogging because I'm going to finish Twisted Hate by Anna Huang. So this is going to be kind of like my reaction to the end of Twisted Hate and my opinions about the book. And I'm going to start uh, Turns and Conditions by Lauren Asher, which is the second book of the Dreamland Billionaire series. And I cannot wait. I just literally today received an arc for that. So thank you so much, Valentine PR. I love you guys so much. Um, I am very excited to read it. You guys know that I loved the fine print. It was very, very good. So I cannot wait to read the second one. So this is going to be basically reading vlog of Twisted Hate, the end of it, my opinions and everything, and reading vlog of Terms and Conditions. There's not going to be spoilers in this video at all, so don't worry about that. But I just want to tell you guys that yesterday, um, I literally picked up Twisted Hate again. I started reading and I devoured like 250 pages like I was hooked and I'm literally speechless um Josh and Jules like what every single book from the Twisted series gets even spicier with each book so like the first one Twisted Love was okay spicy then came Twisted Games and the spice was up and now twisted hate like i knew it was gonna be spicy and i love spicy books uh because it's a enemies to lovers and i love enemies to lovers and jules and josh and uh, their whole like relationship is so it's the definition of enemies to lovers oh my gosh and it's <laughs> and it's honestly so spicy but it's a different kind of spice that I like um, but yeah I just wanted to say that because a lot of you ask me if the Twisted series is spicy and it is so 18 plus if you don't like spice um, in books do not read the series it's not gonna be for you um, but if you do like it then go right ahead because it's so good so I have the book right here um, and today's Tuesday so I'm gonna finish this book today probably tomorrow I'm going to start terms and conditions and try to finish it that same day but I have the book Twisted Hate here it's actually really chunky so it's taken me a little while to finish 500 pages um, so it is on the it is on the chunkier side but I'm in page 320 I am in chapter 38 the enemies to like yeah the enemies part is kind of slowly getting into the lovey-dovey part so let's see what happens but but i hope you like the video you guys um subscribe down below thank you so much for being patient with me um throughout my reading slump but subscribe down below if you want more reading vlogs because they are coming uh but yeah let's get to reading i can't wait I love how they act like they hate each other, but they are so in love. It's ugh, this book, this book, you guys. He took her to a bookstore on a date, but. This is so cute. Okay, you guys, it's the next day and we need to talk about this book. <laughs> I just finished this book and I am speechless. I, I love it. So you guys know I love the series, but this book, I just knew that I was going to love it even more. Like, it became one of my favorites. 
it's so good like I love the story I love the couple I love the enemies to lovers there is a slight moment where it's fake dating best friend's brother sister's best friend oh and obviously friends with benefits to lovers but it's not friends with benefits but enemies to lovers so they hate each other so it's that kind of friends with benefits you know what I mean um, it's so good you guys like I, I I don't have words to explain how good this book is like oh my gosh it's perfection I don't have anything bad to say about this book like nothing I, I was honestly surprised because it's really chunky and it's even chunkier than the last two books so I was kind of like hmm am I gonna like that it has so many pages but I did not mind at all like each page is important to the story which is the best so definitely you guys my top rating for this is obviously five stars like i loved it like i loved it so much like jules and josh are my favorite couple and i love that these like in this story they like the author also like talks about the other couples so you get to like experience things that are not on the other books because it's kind of like a feature of the other couples and it's so cute i knew i was gonna love it but once you read the book and you love it it's like oh my gosh i loved it you know um so yeah definitely go read the book go read the entire series <laughs> um so let's get to the next book because i'm going to start terms and conditions by lauren asher and i was debating on making a video like a like a reading vlog for this book because it hasn't like come out yet but i thought well it's better that i do because it literally comes out next week so it's basically the same thing so i'm really grateful thank you so much valentine pr for um giving me an arc and to the author like i love you and i love your books they're so good I cannot wait to read the book, so I'm going to go get my Kindle and we're going to read it together. Well, there's not going to be spoilers in this video at all because the book hasn't um, come out yet, so I cannot put any spoilers and I don't want to say any specific um, like scenes or anything. I'm just going to tell you the tropes, um, what I think about the book, my rating, and if you should go uh, pre-order it because it comes out on the 24th. In my opinion, I think I'm gonna love it because the fine print, which is the first book of the series, the Dreamland Billionaire series, I loved. Um, so I think I'm gonna love this second book. So what I remember, the series is about three brothers. So the first book is about um, the first brother and kind of like the introduction to the whole series. Now we're gonna get the story of, I don't know which brother, but I think it's Declan. If you haven't read the fine print, you should definitely go read the fine print. Um, I would say it's spicy, but I wouldn't say it's as spicy as this one. Uh, but let's see about terms and conditions. I'm also gonna tell you if it's spicy or not, um, all of that stuff. So I'm gonna go get my Kindle and we're gonna start reading. Let's start the book. Okay, so the book is about Declan and a girl named Iris. And it has a playlist. Oh my gosh. I love books that have playlists. The songs. The Laura Nasher's dedications are always so cute. Oh my gosh, like. What I'm getting with the first page is that uh, we do have the two main characters' point of view. So, so the guy and the girl, um, we have the two point of views, which is awesome. I love that. This is fake dating, but a whole other level, like... Okay, so the story starts with Declan, which is one of the brothers of 
the whole series um, one of the three brothers so Declan in order to be CEO of the like his family's company he has to marry someone and have a child with that person so the whole thing is fake dating slash marriage so then comes the main girl in the story which is Iris so Iris is Declan's assistant yeah, that's all I've read so far um, so let's see <laughs> For some reason, I don't know, Iris is so funny and like Iris's mom and her grandmother and the it's just a whole scene but it's so funny. Uh, I love it, I love it. Good morning you guys, it's the next day, I haven't finished the book. I don't know if I'm gonna finish today so I'm really sorry if I don't finish today. But I wanted to talk about a scene, not a scene but something that happened. Um, literally, if you haven't read the Dirtier series, um, basically the Dirtier series is about like um, F1 drivers and about like Formula One and there's one driver that's called Santiago and he is in the last book which is, I don't remember, Redeemed I think? Um, and literally in this book he like made an appearance. So the Dirtier series and this series are in the same world. Which is so cool. Like, I had no idea. So, um, I, I just wanted to tell you guys that because I realized that and I don't know, it's so cool. But yeah, I'm going to keep reading. I'm going to try to finish the book. I'm not sure I'm going to be able to do it because I don't read that fast. But I'm on chapter 10. Okay, guys, update. Um, I'm 50% in and I have to say I am really, really liking this book. It's really easy to read. Um, I'm liking the couple, the like, uh, it's really grumpy sunshine, so the guy is like the ultimate, I think the most grumpy, grumpiest character, man character I've ever encountered, um, definitely the most grumpiest, which I love, so, um, <laughs> 10 out of 10, the like, character development for Declan, love it, I'm still at the part where he's, uh, like, super grumpy all the time so I'm like thinking it's gonna change once they kind of like get into that lovey-dovey part you know what I mean but the thing is about the entire book is that Declan married his assistant Iris so the book is about Declan and Iris and how they are married but it's all fake so it's a fake marriage so kind of a slow burn I would say a little bit but I don't mind I have not mind at all. I am loving it and I'm 50% in and I just know that it's gonna get better. But I'm going to keep recording for another vlog, so for next week probably, and you're gonna see my reactions to the ending and like the other 50% and my thoughts, my rating and everything. But I honestly think that you should go pre-order the book. I don't think you're gonna be disappointed. Like I am not disappointed at all so far, so that's really good. I think that's it. For today's video, I hope you guys enjoyed. Stay tuned for my full review on my Instagram, but stay tuned for Saturday because I have my updated bookshelf tour coming and you're gonna see my bookshelf space, home library space. So I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you Saturday. Bye. We are knocking out another year of new lives